We start this story in a front yard, where two parents stand watch in loving guard, little Minnie playing on wooden steed. A happy family, you'd concede. A home blessed with love, trust, and support, with their little princess spend her days holding the fort. With hours of time to let her mind wander, the cause of mother's curve she did often ponder. But what was inside? What could it be? She would look and look, trying to see. What do you want? The mother did quiz, expecting a reply of little master or little miss. A horse. Minnie did shout, the mother to herself. What are you talking about? A horse, a horse. She squawked with a turn and a spin. I'm going to fetch the Ritalin. Your mother can't have a fowl, a colt, or a filly. My darling girl, you must be silly. But the girl was hardened with a steely defiance. She would shock them all like an unreputable appliance. You see, the very next day, without delay, she placed a wish amongst the fish. She would have her dream of Pony King, borrowing some wish tonic to spike Mother's gin. And in the middle of that night, Mother awoke with a violent fright, her leg kicking in an aggressive manner, much like an overly sensitive wedding planner. But once it began, it would not recede. Kicks and kicks, kicks to bleed. The pain of this became too much to bear, so a visit to Dr. Sant was made for some urgent medical care. The doctor, in the middle of his meal, spared some time to help and heal. He ran his tests for his guests, ignoring most of their requests. He checked his data once and twice, he printed it off because he was nice. But the picture, the picture, what of the picture? The doctor did eye it with heavy stricture. It's a horse. The physician did proclaim, without mercy or even shame. The parents were shocked at this blunt news. His medical discovery did confuse. See, the doctor was no good. A boozer, a self-hater. The only thing worse, a third person narrator. The parents, still baffled by the absurd, their mother contemplated how this occurred. Remembering Minnie's request for a horse, she decided to ask her, after hitting the sauce. What did you do to me? Mother screamed in a state, her grief she could not abate. Just a wish. Minnie said, patting her mother on the head. But the mother could not forgive what Minnie did, a powerful vitriol growing from her head. Oh, Into depression their mother had sunk, spending her days upon her bunk. Her friends had pretended there was nothing astray, giving her gifts to be thrown away. This horse had become a true bane, a happy marriage they could no longer feign. This food is making me sick. Well, you can go and eat a dinner. But Minnie was overjoyed. Did that not count? Not to them, barely a small amount. And as the days closed in on due date, our protagonists began to curse their fate. Poor mother's nerves were quite shot. She was back on the curry pills, rather a lot. The doctor had began to feel insane, getting drunk to blot out the strain. And our father figure was dealing in an affair, a secret shame he could not share. All of them broken, except for our Minnie, who spent her nights imagining that Winnie. And when the day came with a rush of staff, trying to stop Mother from bursting in half, the doctor's skilled hands fiddled and mended, causing the horrific sight that immediately proceeded. When all was calm, Minnie was called in, barely able to contain her grin. She gazed upon her baby brother, with love quite like no other. See, in that moment, Minnie's heart grew, Proof of a child's wish can really come true. So, you need an end to this tale, I would say. A story that will conclude in the right way. Well, Minnie was inseparable from that horse. The parents' marriage ended in divorce. Hmm, probably wasn't worth it, really.